thinking about moving to Mill Valley in Marin County and you want to know more about it? Well, in this video, I am going to take you on a downtown tour of Mill Valley. So let's get to it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're thinking of moving to Mill Valley or anywhere in Marin County in the next 10 days or the next 10 months, reach out, give me a call. I love to help people make a smart, smooth move. My contact information is in the show more below. Now, without further ado. I am now headed to the heart of Mill Valley, what a lot of people would be considered the downtown. Right now I am driving through Mill Valley. This is Miller Avenue. There's really two ways to get to the place that I'm on my way to right now. You can take Miller Avenue to get there and you can take East Blythdale to get there. You can see that there's a number of shops here on Miller Avenue. And as I approach the area that I'm going to, it's going to become more wooded and forest-like, which is part of the charm of Mill Valley. Okay, I've arrived. This is a railroad car that used to carry 30 bull. There was a railroad that ran Mill Valley, the east peak of Mount Tamalpais. Crazy that this has been around for so long. It was actually apparently incorporated in 1896 and closed in the summer of 1930. Okay, so obviously this car is number nine and the one in the picture is 21. Same thing though. This area where the gravity car sits is in a little plaza called the Depot Plaza. There's a lot of parking around here, by the way. The building we're coming up on is the old train depot. This was a depot that started in 1890 when train tracks were laid to bring people here, purchase land at an auction. Yes, that means the train tracks were laid for anybody bought any lots in Mill Valley. Clearly it's not being used as a depot anymore. And in fact, instead it has been used for over 40 years as a bookstore and a cafe. And it's a nice lively place to go to. This clock tower stands right outside the depot, it was donated to the people of Mill Valley by the Mill Valley Volunteer Firemen's Association. We took a ride off of Miller Avenue right there at the depot cafe onto Throckmorton. And now I'm headed down Throckmorton to show you what's over here. Continuing on Throckmorton Avenue. And here are some places to shop and places to eat. And this is the Sequoia Theater. It opened in 1929 and showed talkies. The theater actually sat 1,200 people, which is interesting because the whole town of Mill Valley was only 4,000. That side of it was significantly changed in 1975 when the owners changed the style from Art Deco to, at the time, ultra modern. Turning around now and heading back from where I came from, but on the other side of the street. And now I am headed down Corte Madera Avenue towards the Mill Valley City Hall and the fire department. And right across the street, we have the Sweetwater Music Hall. It has a long history of live musical performances. They had Bonnie Raitt, Carlos Santana, you might see Greg Allman and Train, and other people just drop by. Also serve food. It's a small, intimate venue. Seeing a performance here is like nothing you've seen before. Getting back to Throckmorton now, to head down the other way where we're gonna pass the depot and go even further than that. And this is the Throckmorton Theater. It was originally called the Hub Theater and in 1914 used to play silent films. Today you see a variety of things that happen here. There's a comedy shop and schools often put on class plays. In fact, my own daughter played Oliver in the musical 
Oliver here at the Throckmorton. Back in the day, Robin Williams used to drop by here to try out new jokes on comedy night. It would be a surprise to the audience and great fun. Farther down here is a very large, beautiful park called Old Mill Park. And now I'm going to take a quick stop and look at the Mill Valley Inn from across the street, which I just showed a minute ago, but it was very fast. Great place to stay. And down this side street is Avatar's Panjami Burrito. This is an amazing place to eat and you should try it out. Heading back to Throckmorton again. And now I'm headed down Miller Avenue in the direction from where I originally started this tour. And here's Piazza D'Angelo, a Mill Valley favorite coming to here for years and wow do they have a lot of extra seating with all these parklets and look even down the side and there's more outdoor seating plus it's a full large restaurant on the inside great Italian food If you'd like more information about living in Mill Valley, add a comment below and ask me for the Mill Valley information. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be first to be notified when I drop a new video, which is every week. I hope you enjoyed this information on Mill Valley. 